What's good, y'all? You dub back here again, here in 2019. Let's get it. Now, y'all know, y'all know, if you a basketball fan, some of the most debated topics ever, the best of the best, who is the best ever, the GOAT, the greatest of all time, who is the best in a specific category, who is the best in a specific era, specific decade, who is the best at a specific position, who had the best handles, who had the best shooting, you know, the best shooter, who is the best scorer of all time. All these things are the base. So I'm throwing my hat in the ring for the all time, all decade, excuse me, starting fives. The all decades. Now, I might do the all time starting fives or whatever. And I plan on doing the, the all time starting fives of specific teams. But boy, that, that's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. Now, each decade has a starting five. And I know I'm going to make some people upset. I know some people are going to disagree with me on this one. But try to come at my my starting fives. And I might have, you know, fudge, you know, put some people out of sort of position. Because I at the same time, some people could play multiple positions. And I still wanted the best. Now, just to let y'all know, the 50s one, I had a couple people. But the the rest I had to do the research. The rest of these I pretty much do. But we shall see. And I want y'all to tell me y'all list. Don't don't come at me like, well, you don't know what you're talking about. Please do your research and you'll see why I picked who I picked at, you know, in in this cut. But try to argue against these teams and don't tell me these teams aren't lit. Come in, we start at the 50s of 1950s, taking it all the way back to the origins of the NBA, which began in 1947, by the way. Starting center for the 50 squad, the legendary George Mikan. Now, there is something called the Mikan drill. If you know post play, you know basketball, you know what that is. All right. George Mikan was an absolute monster, a true beast, easy one. This was this is the easy him and another guy who plays point guard were the easy ones on this list for the 50s. All right. Starting power forward. Now, if you play some of the old NBA Live games, you might recognize his name. Bob Pettit. Easy one on this list. But yet again. Yet again. See if you find a better power forward for this list from the 50s. Small four, Dolph Shays. He played well. He was a baller. All right, go look him up. He balled out. See again if you can find someone from that era who replaces Dolph Shays. Now, that's the shooting guard, Paul Arizon. Now, again, NBA Live going back. I love playing with him on NBA Live. He was hell of a lot. He, he was a good scorer. Good scorer. Even though he mainly played small forward. In this in this uh, lineup, he's getting the shooting guard position. And this one, at the point guard, I actually had him in the 60s. I had to bump him up because he actually mainly shined in the 50s. Bob Cousy. Coos. Y'all knew Coos had to be on his list in one of these decades. Come on now. Boston Celtics legend? Bob Cousy? Let's go. So that's my 1950 squad. Good squad. Solid squad. In any era. Don't care what anybody says. Now we coming into the 60s. Highly debated by some. But we'll see what y'all have to say on this one. Coming in at the center position. Will the still. Chamberlain, easy lock, no no debate, greatest statistical player in NBA history, come on now, coming in that power forward, winning this player in NBA history, 11 of them things, Mr. Bill Russell in the building, ladies and gentlemen, considering the NBA Finals MVP award is called the Bill Russell Award, come on now, you knew this was an easy lock. Coming in at the small forward position, we putting in Elgin Baylor. Now, if you don't know who Elgin Baylor was, go look it up. Eight NBA Finals appearances. The man balled out for the Lakers, y'all. The man was a monster. Absolute monster. Shooting guard. Now, this one, I had to do a little bit of research. But considering he balled out in so many Finals appearances, him, Casey Jones, and Bill Russell, Balled heavily, but Casey Jones don't make the cut. JoJo White, sorry, had to put Sam Jones, one of the greatest Celtics of all time, in this piece. And at the point guard, y'all know who it is, Mr. Clutch, 
Mr. Basketball, Jerry West in the building, ladies and gentlemen. This is a lit-ass squad for the 60s. This is a squad you can put up against anybody in any era. Now we're moving on to the 1970s. For the 70s, our center is the legendary Bill Walton. Now, if you don't know how good Bill Walton was, you need to go back and do your research. Bill Walton was a true monster for the Blazers back in the day. Go back, and I believe he played at UCLA as well. Bill Walton, before his injuries, man, he's just one of them players that injuries robbed us of what he brought to the table. Bill Walton was, a, was the truth. Coming in at the power force, you know, this this might be heavily debated amongst some, but I had to go Moses Malone. Moses Malone for the, I believe it was the Rockets, and then later in the in going into the 80s with the Sixers. Moses Malone was a true monster on them boards, getting them buckets, who's the bang. And he had a long, long career, 20, 21 years. You know, professional basketball, 14 in the NBA. He was he was the truth. He was the truth, no doubt. At the small forward position, y'all already know who it is. It's Dr. J. Julius Irving. Easily one of the greatest players of all time. Come on now. Come on now. It's Dr. J. Y'all knew he was on this list of the 70s. Coming in at this shooting guard position. It's the Iceman, George Irving. One of the greatest scorers of all time. Sweet. Iceman is the truth. And if you don't know who the Iceman was, do your due diligence, do yourself some service, and go look up the monster, the absolute monster, that was the Iceman. And at the point guard position, that man who was before his time, the showman himself, the dazzling scorer, known as Pistol Pete. Maravich, ladies and gentlemen, one of easily the greatest basketball players of all time and mad underrated, my dad, by those who don't know the annals of basketball history. Now we move on to the 80s. Yeah, a lot of y'all can pretty much guess who's going to be on this list. Come on now. Center, obviously the greatest scorer of all time, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. That, that, that doesn't need to be, you know. Who I believe we got number 10 all time. Who some consider the greatest player of all time. Come on now. That's easy. That's light work. Coming in at the power forward position. Who I consider Mr. Automatic. Who I consider the. He's either the second or third greatest power forward of all time. Kevin McHale. Who balled out in the in the Celtics uniform. With, 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 with the man who's next. Larry Bird. That small forward. Y'all already know Larry the Legend's on here. Come on now. But Kevin McHale. For y'all you don't know. Go watch him. When I say Mr. Automatic, give it to him in the post, you get Insta Buckets. That's Insta Buckets, bro. And his ass play defense. Long, lanky, just a monster. Larry Bird, easily one of the greatest players of all time. Casually top 10 greatest player of all time. Come on down. Y'all already know Larry the Legend on here. At the shooting guard position. Now, I had to kind of fudge this one on this one because the greatest point guard of all time is Magic Johnson, who I have at Irvin. Magic Johnson, who I have at the shooting guard position. But the reason is because his size and he can play all for the positions. But I had to because at first I was like, kind of glad. But then I was like, nah, bro, I got to put in Zeke. I got to put in Isaiah Thomas as a point guard. Come on now. Come on now. Even though Magic chose not to score, he could score. But come on now. To get Isaiah Thomas on the floor, you can't bump Magic Johnson to the shooting guard position. Look at that backcourt, bro. This A team, boy. This A team is arguably the greatest of all time, bro. This A team is an absolute monster, bro. But look at his 90s team. Boy, 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 boy. Starring Cindy, y'all already know it's Hakeem the Dream. Elijah Wan, the dream, baby. A lot of people swear he's the greatest center of all time. That's another debate for another time. I mean, I got Shaq. You got Bill Russell, you got, you got freaking, uh, you know, Kareem and Wilt. But a lot of people swear about a dream. You know, dream shaking all. Power forward. I put in the Admiral David Robinson, one of the most underrated, in some cases, the, the, the amount of non-talking about the Admiral, the disrespect. You know, Mr. Quadruple Double. Now, there are others who did Quadruple Double, but this man, David Robinson, part of the Swin Towers, come on now. 
This man, David Robinson, if you don't know what this man brought to the table, go do yourself a service and go look at this man's play on both ends of the floor. You want a real two-way play, you got David Robinson. I mean, both him and Hakeem the Dream. Man, that front court is too nasty. Small forward position, even though he really played power forward, but I, you know, got to gotta be realistic on, on this squad. Sir Charles Barkley had to make the cut. Arguably the greatest player, well, there is AI. But him and AI are arguably, arguably the greatest players that never were in a ring. Period. For those, oh, he was just a fat guy. That, do yourself some service and go look up Sir Charles Barkley and what he brought to the table on both ends of the floor. He was an absolute monster amongst the absolute monsters. Shooting guard, y'all already know it's his Aaron, it's Michael Jordan. I, I don't even need to say what needs to be said about MJ. Man, he still have him as the greatest player of all time. I have him, uh, you know, it, it's a close. Him and LeBron, LeBron's still creeping. But, MJ, the greatest player of all time, this was, this was the most obvious selection. And at the point guard position, at the point guard position, believe he's the leader in assists, I believe. Either that, he's number two. John Stockton, massively underrated Hall of Famer. For that era, you can't get a better point guard than John Stockton, ladies and gentlemen. Go look up John Stockton if you don't know. For the Utah Jazz, low-key killer. Now, for the 2000s, another arguable greatest squad. At center, y'all already know it's Shaq. Big Diesel. Superman. Shaquille O'Neal, the most dominant force in the NBA history, most dominant big man, even more dominant than doggone Wilt Chamberlain, which is hard to put, press. Shaq, bro, you, both fans, just, <laughs> Shaq is a problem to deal with for any era. The greatest power forward of all time is Tim Duncan, the big fundamentalist. Y'all know he's on this list at small forward. Now, this is maybe a controversial decision but let me put it this way prime mellow carmelo anthony one of the best scorers of all time he would give you the business i had to get him on this list bro he him in his nuggets days sweetness just just sweet to watch him play bro shooting guard y'all already know it's the black mamba it's Kobe Bryant, without question. And at point guard, another obvious shoe in fit. It's the answer. It's AI. It's Allen Iverson. This 2000 squad, except for Melo, some some may you know easily you know can say LeBron or whatever. But I gotta had to have Melo Love. And also, I didn't want to repeat in any of the decades if I could afford it. Because there's people like Kareem you could have put in, in another decade. You could have put uh, Wilt in another decade, Bill Russell in another decade. I was trying to, you know, limit the amount of repeats or whatever in this video. And finally, this this past decade we just we just lived in. Still a lit ass squad. Just I ain't gonna lie. At first it seemed like this squad was gonna be weak. Nah, bro, this squad lit as hell. Center, I got Boogie Cousins. DeMarcus Cousins, best big man in basketball, win healthy, don't care. You could come at me if you want to. You could try to debate me, but Boogie Cousins is an absolute monster. You need to put some respect on this man's name. Coming in at the power forward position, just won the MVP, the Greek freak, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Hope I didn't butcher his last name, but y'all know Giannis be the truth. You know, I, I was I was slow to, because I don't jump on bandwagons, but Giannis, Giannis did his thing. I mean... Look at his numbers, bro. Look at the numbers. Who 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 you got better? You could make 80 Anthony Davis. I'm sorry, I'm taking Giannis, bro. I'm taking Giannis. I'm taking Giannis. I mean, he does it on both ends of the flow. He can run the flow. Giannis, baby. And he help he stay healthy. Just saying. Coming in at the small forward, y'all already know it's the king, the chosen one, LeBron James. Who I got second greatest play of all time. Come on now. Come on now. We don't even need to discuss this, man. Y'all know he ran this decade. Coming in at the shooting guard, one of the greatest scores of all time. Y'all need to put respect on a chef's name. Runner up and, and MVP like four times now. Won an MVP. Y'all know it's James Hardy. Y'all know the chef stay cooking. Ain't really a point guard, but know how to play point guard now. And at the point guard position, y'all know 
It's that it's that two times MVP. The one only unanimous MVP. The babyface assassin, known as Steph Curry. Steph Hong Curry. Steph Curry be the man. Now, let me know what y'all think. What are y'all top five all decade teams? Starting fives, ladies and gentlemen. Who are you bumping off my list? Do you think do you completely agree with my list? I think my list is hard to argue against objectively. But I would love to hear what y'all say. Put some respect on some names, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have fun. All right, y'all. Unexpected one. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts. Until next time, y'all. Peace. Have a beautiful day. Beautiful night.